Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Jeff Colbert, and I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. As you can tell, it's Red Day here in the office, and today we're going to bring you another kind of cross-fitting video, and today we're going to be adjusting Michael. Michael is one of our patients. He's been here for about a year now. He is a realtor, so if you're going to sell your house, look for Weikert Realtor, look for Michael. He'll do a great job taking care of you, but he is also a crossfitter, and he took a little break from care because he was doing so well, which is fine. I have no problem with anybody taking a break because life gets in the way sometimes, and you're doing well and you think he can handle it. But he was back at CrossFit a little while ago and he was doing a deadlift and a squat thrust. And the combination of the deadlift and the squat thrust, something caught his lower back again, ended up throwing out his psoas muscle, his hamstring, his quadratus lumborum, and his gluteus maximus, ended up with a little disc pressure and some sciatic irritation. So he's been in now for about a week. He's doing absolutely phenomenally well. So again, we wanted to introduce CrossFitters again to chiropractic and it is a perfect blend to help you get over the those cross-fitting type of injuries for those crazy wads that you guys do day in, day out. So without any further ado, this is Michael. Michael, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. And we're going to get started. So he's going to lay down for me, and we're going to start with our basic chiropractic AK check, and then we're going to take care of him. And hopefully you guys will find this to be another great and interesting chiropractic video as it helps CrossFitters. Okie doke, and we're going to get started. Now just remember, just because we've been focusing on CrossFit athletes lately in the office with our videos, just remember, everybody is an athlete, and the problems that an athlete ends up getting are basically the same problems that you're going to have, just caused for a different reason. So if you like what you see going on here, please remember to hit the subscribe button and like, and share this with other people that you know, because chiropractic truly is cutting edge science to help you get over your injuries quicker and faster. Now what we were just working on with Michael were kidney acupuncture points. The psoas muscle is a kidney related muscle and it loves water. And so do the discs in your lower back. So one of the things I'll remind Michael to do today is make sure he's drinking plenty of water as he is going about his day. And if worse comes to worse, we'll throw him out in the rain later on. <laughs> Psoas muscle, hold on, push it down. Okay, psoas muscle is still a little bit off on Michael. And hold on, push it down. Left side looks really pretty good by comparison. So we're just gonna do what's known as origin and insertion technique right now. We're gonna be working the insertion point of the psoas muscle. We're gonna hit that with the activator and then when we get them turned over, we'll work the back half of that muscle. Now the psoas muscle works with the upper traps on the kidney system. So we're also gonna be making sure we take a look at Michael's neck today and get that a good adjustment at the same time as we're adjusting the lower back. And as with any good rag, when it knots up at the bottom and the, or it tightens up at the top and the bottom, it always knots in the middle. So we'll make sure we take a look at his mid back as well. You don't feel like you catch them a little cold, do you? Um, really? Okay, just one little immune point a little bit off. We'll, we'll squeeze that in there too. There we go. Now you're gonna relax for me and you're gonna have a nice, big, juicy smile. There we go, that was beautiful. And again, another nice, big smile for the camera. There you go, thank you. <laughs> nice work. You're gonna be a rock star. I prefer to be a real estate star. <laughs> this is uh, just one of the immune points that we just found just a touch weak, so we're just going to tweak this up because it is cold and flu season out there, and we want him to stay healthy through this holiday season. There we go. Okay. Now, before I turn you over, we're just going to hit this hip with the activator. And then we are going to get this lower back adjusted. Okay, we're going to start with your left side facing up. Face me, please. There we go. You take a nice deep breath in. Breathe all the way out. There you go. Thank you. And face the other side. And breathe all the way in. And all the way. There you go. 
thank you. Turn on your stomach. Now, the next thing we're going to check to see what's going on with that lower disc. Let me bring these legs up into position too. That leg shortens a little bit. So we're going to go and stretch out his lower back, open up the disc space a little bit. And we're going to do that with a little activator encouragement and a little flexion distraction traction. This is a great and gentle technique for opening up the facet joints as well as opening up the and reversing the pressure on the discs. So as Michael starts drinking a little bit more water, we can slowly start to encourage the disc to want to absorb a little bit more water, especially at night while he's sleeping, so that disc wants to come back. Little irritated bulge starts to want to suck back in. And life is good. Now, like I said, when he's tight at the top and tight at the bottom, it often starts to knot up in the middle. So we're gonna give him a little adjustment right here in the mid back, all the way, all the way out. And there you go, nice and relaxed. And then we're gonna finish up with a little, again, following up with that little bit of origin insertion technique. And when the psoas muscle goes weak, the piriformis and the glute gets a little bit tight. So we've got a little pressure applied here. And we're going to hold this until the muscle starts to relax, which is typically within about a minute, maybe two. And then we're going to end up asking Michael just to stretch here for a couple of moments when we're done. There we go. I can feel the lower back buttock muscle starting to go already. And the psoas muscle up top is starting to follow suit. And then we're just gonna end with a little bit of a respiratory technique for that lower disc. And Michael, I'm gonna ask you to breathe in. Breathe all the way out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And last time in. And out. Okie doke. Now at this stage of the game, Michael's just gonna take a couple of minutes to rest and kind of let this lower back stretch out a little bit. In the old days, they used to call that a setment. And I uh, would generally sit in a chair and rest for a little bit, but here we let him stretch out on the table for a little bit. And that is Michael's chiropractic adjustment today, recouping from a wad where he did deadlifts and uh, squat thrusts. So uh, he's making great progress. And again, like I said, if you found this video interesting and you're interested, can chiropractic help you and you're in the cl close location of Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center, Hackettstown, Long Valley area, please visit our website, smcc4u.com. And if you would like what you've seen, if you could like and subscribe and share this with others, that would be great. And again, this is Dr. Jeff Colbert with Michael at Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center, wishing you a really great Friday, but most importantly, have a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll see you in another video real soon. Thank you and have a great day.